Hi, welcome to NVIDIA GTC 2020, our first kitchen keynote. Over the last several years, two fundamentally new dynamics has happened to take accelerated computing to the next level. The first is the emergence of this new type of algorithm called data-driven or machine learning algorithms. Data processing and the movement of data around the data center is more important than ever. The second is the applications that we're processing now are so large it doesn't fit in any computer. In fact, the server is no longer the computing unit. The data center is the new computing unit. We have a new chip that we're announcing and we have four new systems. So let's get started. NVIDIA RTX fuses two groundbreaking technologies. The first is accelerated ray tracing and the second breakthrough is deep learning. We call this technology DLSS, Deep Learning Super Sampling. And here, what I'm showing you is our first try and we call it DLSS 1.0. Notice it improves the resolution it appears, but only by a little bit. This is, ladies and gentlemen, DLSS 2.0, scaling from 720p, generating the pixels necessary to create a 1080p anti-aliased image. It's much, much more than sharpening. Look at all the lights that all of a sudden appear that didn't appear before. How do you create content where content did not exist? Well, partly because the neural network has learned what the image should look like, and secondarily, because we have motion vectors and the pixels, by observing across a few scenes, the neural network can predict what each scene should look like. Ladies and gentlemen, RTX on, ray tracing, DLSS. We made possible real-time ray tracing 10 years earlier than anybody thought was possible. When we launched it, people were skeptical, but now it is very, very clear that ray tracing is here and it's the next big thing. And so ladies and gentlemen, this is the NVIDIA Omniverse. It starts with a server with a whole bunch of RTX 8000s. These are the most powerful ray tracing GPUs in the world. Tensor core processing to do AI so that we can both have beautiful images and high resolution and high performance at the same time. Ladies and gentlemen, we're announcing today a new application framework we call Jarvis. And because it has the ability to connect into Omniverse, we have the ability to create an interactive 3D chatbot. One of the AI models that makes this entire experience possible is what we call audio to face. It takes an audio input and it has learned how to animate a geometric mesh to animate facial expressions while talking. Let me now show you our AI model audio to face. The speech here is coming from a rapper, one of our employees, John Delabana, and it is really fantastic. Take a look. Living for the now, long as time allows. I'ma keep on switching different styles, keep creative on a cloud. Sweat is on my brow, cause I'm running on these tracks just to keep them running back. You know, to drill the cord and back. And I've been practicing my craft, dedicate this play to Kobe. What could be a bigger legacy than making it a story? Every day gets better, no doubt. So we gotta hold out. Once we have audio to face, then we can connect it to our conversational AI model, where you can ask it a question, it would understand the question, answer the question and then synthesize speech from that, which goes into our audio to face model, which animates and drives a 3D model. We've created a demonstration we call Misty, our first interactive 3D chatbot. What are you here for? I'm here to give you the latest weather information around the world, tell you interesting facts about meteorology and keep you company. And you have to process the entire pipeline end to end from speech recognition, language understanding, text to speech, as well as driving and generating the computer graphics in just a few hundred milliseconds in order to feel like you're having an interactive conversation. And that's what NVIDIA Jarvis is about, a multimodal conversational AI service framework that simplifies the creation and the development of conversational AI services. It includes state-of-the-art models that has been pre-pipelined into these Helms charts, optimized to run on NVIDIA's Triton inference server, which runs on top of our GPUs, and the performance is interactive, and the entire pipeline end-to-end -end is only a few hundred milliseconds. The ability to create a flexible, high-throughput acceleration architecture is something we've been pursuing for some time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have something new that I'd like to share with you. It's called the NVIDIA A100, our brand new data center GPU. 
The NVIDIA A100 is based on an architecture we call Ampere. And there's several amazing breakthroughs that make this possible. The first is we're using TSMC's seven nanometer process that's been optimized for NVIDIA. Using a packaging technology called COWAS, chip on wafer on substrate, 3D packaging technology, which puts the memory and the chip on the same substrate, which allows it to interoperate incredibly fast. And we're connected to HBM2 memory that now provides for 1.5 terabytes of frame buffer bandwidth. The second breakthrough of the Ampere GPU is the new Tensor Core architecture, and it has a new numerical format Tensor Float 32. It has the range of FP32, the precision of FP16. You input an FP32, it processes it with TensorFlow 32, and accumulates it in FP32. As a result, no code change is necessary when you train. Ampere has a new tensor core acceleration for sparsity. It takes advantage of the fact that most neural networks are very heavily sparse. So it starts with a dense network, the original network, and it zeroes out the weights that are small or close to zero. And then it retrains that network. As a result, this network can be compressed two to one. And using the same data structure, using the same pipeline, we can now effectively accelerate processing by a factor of two. A100 FP64 is 20 teraflops. A100 TF32 is 160 teraflops, 10 times. In the case of FP16, 310. In the case of int 8, 625 peak. Ladies and gentlemen, the world's largest, the world's largest graphics card. This is the A100 processor board. It is 50 pounds, eight GPUs connected by NVLink, 600 gigabytes per second, six MV switches, one million drill holes, one kilometer of traces connecting all of this, over 30,000 components, 50 pounds. In DGX, it moves 700 cubic feet per minute. The most transistors on one computer the world has ever made. Ampere is not only incredibly fast for training, not only is it incredibly fast for inference, it also has the ability to fractionalize and partition itself up into a large GPU for scale up applications or a whole bunch of small GPUs to maximize scale out. DGX is our third generation system. It's the world's first fully integrated AI system. It was designed to be the ultimate instrument of AI researchers. It's fully optimized and you simply take it out of the box, plug it in, and you have a state-of-the-art development system for AI. Int 8, 10 petaops peak. FP16, five petaflops peak. TF32 for training, 2.5 petaflops peak. FP64 for scientific computing, 156 teraflops peak. Ladies and gentlemen, the NVIDIA DGX A100 is in full production and it's available today at an amazing price of $199,000. Incredible performance, incredible value. Here we're showing you a modern, typical AI data center. There's a lot of DGXs inside with Voltus running in parallel for training. And so this particular data center has 50 DGX ones and 600 CPU systems for AI inference and data processing. $11 million, 630 kilowatts is approximately uh, the going price for a state-of-the-art AI data center. With the A100, this is what it looks like. Boom. The combination of the high throughput, the MIG instances, and the ability to do data processing, deep learning, and inference all on one computing platform, and the acceleration software we've developed from Spark to training all the way to inference, we can now combine all of those different server architectures into one. And by doing so, we reduced an $11 million data center into a $1 million rack, 28 kilowatts instead of 630 kilowatts, a 10th of the cost and 1 20th of the power. The more you buy, the more you save.